Patio Bay and Beach Road are quiet just at the moment. Deceptively so because tonight there'll be a wonderful display in the air above the water and the beach. A display that more or less announces the arrival of the high season which everybody looks forward to every year because good things happen throughout the month of December and into the new year, of course, here at Patia by the Bay. Uh, tonight, there's a fireworks display and all the best positions have been taken up by people who really enjoy the colorful display of, of fantastic lights in the sky, including right here in the, the roof terrace of the Selection Hotel, but all along the bay and along the beach itself. The explosions will start shortly the boats are out there in the bay, it's all supervised. A number of countries are participating. Teams from Japan, Taiwan, Philippines and Switzerland are all taking part this evening for the big international fireworks display in Patia. Nigel, we're in time to see some fantastic fireworks. They'll probably stop now that we're talking. Yeah, hopefully not. <laughs> it must make you very happy to have your company acquire this fantastic piece of land here, which already has this older building on it, because the position is perfect for events such as this, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, so if you look at uh, Beach Road, then really that's the prime location for, for Padia, and always will be. I, I think that uh, you know, there's nowhere else I, I could imagine you would get such a ringside seat. The real centre of activity is still here on Patia Beach when it comes to uh, the best shopping, some great hotels, swimming and great fireworks. Yeah, I, I think uh, you'll see a change. I think if you look 20 years down the road, Jomtian will be totally different. Yes. Uh, most of the uh, projects, I think, in the next few years will be hotels. And I think with the hotels will come commerce, shopping, etc. Because there's no ability really to build that much in Patia if you can find the land to build it. So uh, the development will be south without, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. So Patia Bay, which we're on the edge of now, do you think that's going to be hotels and great shopping? Well, I think that if you look and see where you can develop, there's probably only about three pieces of land you could do any uh, decent sized project on. So it's limited by the opportunity to find uh, a piece of land big enough to do it. Uh, and that, I think, is a constraint. This is the Coco Cabana of Thailand. Yeah, it is. It's getting that feeling about it, isn't it? That, so. I, I keep thinking of that. Um, I love these fireworks nights because they really do a special job. These are, they're not mucking around, they're not oh, no, fiddling, no. are they? They're doing no. it well. I haven't quite worked out how they fund it because it, it is quite an expensive uh, operation for sure. You know, two days of, uh, I think, two hours, three hours a night. Mm. That's a lot of money, I know, because I used to do a lot of fireworks. <laughs> oh, at our parties, yeah. Oh, oh I know, for your party, <laughs> yes. They don't come cheap, do they? But they do have international help for this particular occasion. A number of other countries have sent teams, I understand, at least four countries anyway. So that must help defray costs. No, no I, I think so. I, I, but it's, it does cost somebody some money to, yeah. to do all of it. And uh, it, these days, the quality is quite unbelievable. It's, um, it's certainly part of the entertainment, isn't it? This and, and, and other major events that they bring to Patio through the year. Uh, it's a good thing for a resort town. Yeah, I think this particular ex exhibition tonight and tomorrow is world class. I, I, I don't think there are too many countries in the world where you would be able to see two days of fireworks like this. Yes. Uh, Canada maybe and I think Switzerland a couple, but there's not that many. So it is a real, real world class event. And I think Paddy have only really started promoting it as they should do in the last year or two. They must be expecting big things here along the beach because they've widened the road since we were here a year or so yes, ago, yeah. haven't they? It's looking good. I hope it uh, works out the way the, the, the fathers of the city plan it to. No, I think it will do. Uh, we can see already, as long as they stop people parking on the other side, then it, it will definitely alleviate some of the traffic problems when you get here. But you've still got to get here. So. <laughs> Well, there is the small thing of um, closing roads when there's yeah, a big yeah, event yeah, on and it makes it a bit harder. Yeah. I think you've had personal experience of that. Anyway, you? If you know your way around Paddy, you, uh, you can work it out. Well, look, here's a great closing moment for yeah. us.
Well, certainly the newly widened road here along the beach at Patia is a great success with pedestrians. The road is closed and hundreds of people are here tonight and those who aren't on the road taking a stroll are by the water here. That's where the real action is, the international fireworks display in Patia.